I suppose, a cow. <laughs> yes, back it's to the cow. It's a story about a cow. I, I thought yeah. you were going to say, back to the cow. Very cheeky, but it's true. Thanks, James. It appears some Liverpudlians are getting a little carried away with their new status as capital of culture. A bunch of mischievous artists, if that's the right word, have given a major makeover to one of the city's best-known sculptors. Yes, this is where the cow comes in. They say it was a bet for charity, but not everyone can see the funny side of it. Here's Anne O'Connor. It's been mellow yellow and pretty in pink, but now it's a cow. A gang tooled to the eyeballs with emulsion and rollers swooped on the sculpture at King's Dock in a fake council van and turned it from lamb to beef in full view of the rush hour traffic. An insider led us to the ringleader who says he's raising money for the women's hospital. We were instructed to address him only by his code name, Paddy the Painter. I think he's really cute. I mean, I actually done his face myself and give him a nice big smile just to show everyone that he is happy about it. And um, everyone that walks past does actually smile and people were laughing and horns were beeping. But Lewis Biggs commissioned the Super Lamb Banana and he's disappointed it's been what he calls blotched. I'm happy to read in the paper that um, the, the person or persons who did this don't think they're artists. If they did think they were artists, I'd tell them not to give up the day job because I don't think it's very good. Well, even in today's downpour, this paint doesn't look like it's going to budge at all. But the owners of the Super Lamb Banana, the Liverpool Architecture and Design Trust, have told the undercover artists, whoever they are, to get it painted back to yellow or risk being reported to the police. And hope that doesn't happen and if it does happen we'll be the, the nicest prisoners that the police have ever had and we might even paint the police cars when they come to get us. <laughs> they now have their sights on bigger targets. Who knows what we might wake up to tomorrow. Mm, what do you think? I think it should be uh, sent to Milton Keynes. They like